Hi, and welcome to my second Reason and Record video tutorial. I'm sorry for taking so long, but I've been super busy lately, so... But now I'm back, and what I'm gonna show you today is how to use the Record Comp Editor to do some creative uh, cutting of audio. Uh, it's, it's similar to kind of a glitched out effect, because, yeah, you will hear what I mean. <laughs> so I'm gonna start by just importing an audio file. And I have some loops from the future music DVDs I'm gonna use. I think guitar will be good. Very simple loop. It's at 120 BPM and so am I, so that works perfectly. So the first step, I think, is to time stretch this to give it a bit of a different sound. You can do this very quickly in record, just when you click the clip you see it has two arrows here. And if you hold the Option key on Mac, and I think Control on Windows, I'm not sure, you get this little clock cursor. And then you can drag it, and now you time stretch it to double its original length, and it sounds like this. <laughs> Nothing special, really. So what I'm going to do is go into the clip here, switch to Comp Mode, and copy and paste this a few times. You see they're all identical here. And what I'm gonna do is uh, move these bits around to get some rhythmic variation going on. Because now they don't perfectly line up. And using the razor tool I'm gonna do some cuts here using a snap grid of 16 nodes. Just cutting a bit randomly and see what happens. And let's listen back. That's pretty strange, but works, I think. So what I'm gonna, gonna do is make it a bit more musical here. Just add some stuff I usually add. Uh, let's see, I want some drums. I'm gonna use some drums from Gold Baby. Gold Baby has such good drum machine samples. So 909 perhaps. Just make sure the red drum doesn't play anything. Just, you know, a super quick 4 on the 4 pattern here, I think. Here we go. To make it even cooler, I'm gonna sidechain this guitar thing. So open the insert effects here and add compressor. I already have a sidechain dummy set up in my document here that has a red drum playing one bass drum on every fourth note. Then I've just splitted this in this spider audio merger and splitter. So I have tons of copies of this same audio I can use for all my side chaining. So let's see. Gonna add some reverb here too. That's really cool. So I'm gonna show you another tip using a similar technique but that requires a bit more from you as a music creator, not just using pre-made loops. What I'm gonna do is find a sound I'm gonna play myself. I'm gonna use the electromechanical refill. It's a free refill from Propeller Heads for all registered users. I'm gonna take a Rhodes here. And I know this uh, loop is in E, so I can just play 
really badly some stuff. I'm actually gonna quantize that a bit just because I suck at playing this. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is bounce this mixer channel to audio. So I select combinator 3 in the bounce mixer channels window. Select I just want to bounce a loop and I want to bounce it to a new track in song. And let's see. There we go. And here's the audio. I can just mute the old. I can even take it away. I'm gonna delete it. And then I'm do I'm gonna do the same pasting and cutting thing here and see what kind of results I get. That's cool, but I'm gonna show you another thing you can do. You see on top here you have a silence row that you can comp silence in. So I'm gonna do every other 16th note as silence. And what you get is kind of a gating stutter effect that's always popular. <laughs> Though this isn't as fast, you can always change snap grid here, just 30 second notes if you want. And suddenly you have a much finer grid to work with. I'm gonna change it back because that's annoying. <laughs> and there we go. I'm just gonna shorten this to half and copy it over. And now it sounds like this instead. And adding this together with the rest of the track, we have kind of a cool start. <laughs> So I hope you liked this little tutorial and I hope you got some inspiration for how to recycle those old loops you have lying around. And it, like I said, it's really really fun to record some new stuff in your track and then just export it to audio because you get a lot more options of how you can treat it. Uh, so thank you for watching and be sure to tune in next time.